Hi fam, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be putting together some freezer meals. I am filming from my kitchen today and uh, I am 38 weeks pregnant today and if you can't see baby girl, uh, there she is. She is ready to come. So this morning at 4 a.m. I started having some cramps like I've never felt before. They were pretty intense and they were every 10 minutes. So I was like, oh my gosh, I'm going into labor. And if you didn't hear from my last video, I told you that I'm a planned C-section and I'm not scheduled to have that C-section until next week. So I was kind of nervous. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to have an emergency C-section. Um, but it's now the afternoon and the cramps are not as consistent anymore. So I'm just gonna keep an eye on it over the next couple days. Um, and we'll see, but it really kickstarted me uh, to get ready for when baby comes because she could be here any day, any hour now. So I wanted to finish up my freezer meals before she gets here. Uh, you just pop these things in the oven and you're good to go. So I'm gonna take you along with me. Maybe I can give you some ideas and let's get started. So first we're gonna be uh, filming my chicken enchilada casserole. I love chicken enchiladas, but it's such a hassle sometimes rolling them one by one. So I found it easier if you just make a casserole and just layer it like a lasagna. So we'll get into that right now. So first we're gonna start off making the enchilada sauce. Now you can buy the sauce from the grocery store. It's just called enchilada sauce and I like to make a red sauce. I realized that I didn't have any enchilada sauce so we are making our own. So this recipe calls for three tablespoons of oil, two tablespoons of all-purpose flour, two and a half tablespoons of chili powder, half a teaspoon of garlic powder. I didn't have any, so I used real garlic, a teaspoon of onion powder, half a teaspoon of coriander powder, salt and pepper. I want to kick it up a notch and add some chipotles. Just add one. Uh, it does the trick. And then you're gonna add half a teaspoon of dried oregano, half a teaspoon of smoked paprika, um, and then this is one teaspoon of unsweetened cacao powder, and one eighth teaspoon of ground cinnamon. This is one and a half cups of vegetable broth and eight ounces of tomato sauce. I'm gonna be storing everything in these aluminum trays. I'm using a rotisserie chicken here that's already cooked. I got it from the store. You could also use chicken breast or whatever you prefer. And then you're going to shred it. And this is an example of what shredding the chicken looks like. Just hold it with a fork and pull. Once you have all your ingredients together and your little helper, then you're going to start layering. So I have the cheese here that Nash is eating, my shredded chicken, some tortillas, and my tray. So what you wanna do is first put a layer of oil at the bottom of the tray and then some of your enchilada sauce so nothing sticks to the pan. Then you're gonna take your enchiladas and you're going to layer the bottom. And try to cover the bottom with a layer of enchiladas. And Nash is trying to eat the enchiladas. <laughs> and he found out that they're not very tasty. If they're not cooked. So I cut one in half just to fill up the bottom. There you see it. And then we're going to add some chicken on top of that. And on top of the chicken, we're going to add... Oh, Nash needs help. Okay. On top of the chicken, we're gonna add some cheese. I 
There we go, yum, yum, yum. And then on top of that, we're going to do another layer of the enchilada sauce. And you basically repeat. So sauce, tortilla, chicken, and cheese. Nash has returned to help us as we're finishing up our last layer of tortillas. And sauce. Mmm, he looks hungry. Chicken and cheese. Nash loves being included, thinking he's helping out with dinner. Another layer of cheese. <laughs> what is he doing? Enchilada, enchilada sauce, and cheese on top. And then once you pop it in the oven, the cheese is going to get all nice and gooey on top. And there you have it. So I'm sealing it with a tin foil because we plan on eating it within the next week. But if you plan on storing it for longer, you might want to wrap it with a saran wrap and then a tin foil on top. And then you also want to label what is under the tin foil. So later I put chicken enchiladas, thaw first, and then cook for 30 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Next I'll be making um, my Veggie, what am I making? <laughs> Next I'll be making my lasagna and I make my lasagna uh, with some extra vegetables. I like it chunkier like that so uh, you can really do it any way you want to. Um, the key is just layering it with all of your favorite ingredients and then freezing it. First we're gonna start off putting up our mom bun and you should get used to making this messy bun because you will be using it a lot in motherhood, trust me. We're going to start off by browning our ground beef. Adding some seasoning, salt and pepper. Yum, yum, yum. And then I'm going to cut up some vegetables. So I like to add zucchini and mushroom into my lasagna. And I cut it into some kind of larger bite-sized pieces because I like it chunky. And we're gonna add our mushrooms and some tomato sauce. We're gonna add the tomato sauce into our ground beef so it can heat up. And the secret, guys, to any sauce is some sugar. I put a, a teaspoon of sugar. And then here I realized that I didn't buy any lasagna noodles so i'm going to end up using these bow tie pastas instead next we're going to make our ricotta sauce so we're going to add some ricotta cheese and um, you're going to add some spinach i like to saute my spinach first before adding it so it's easier to work with there's those two in there then you're going to add one egg Here's me having a contraction. I need a second. Those suckers were painful. Then you're gonna add some Parmesan cheese. Good healthy amount. Uh, one huge ass tablespoon of garlic, looks like. Oh, two, okay. Some mozzarella cheese. And there you have it. Here is our sauce browning, our sauce cooking. We're gonna add our vegetables so they get all nice and tender in there. Uh, so I'm gonna end up using these bow tie pastas instead. And actually, uh, it worked out better because the bow tie pastas are little bite-sized pieces 
perfect for little mouths if you have kids at home. Oh gosh, that prep took forever. So now that all the cooking is done, we just have to layer everything. So first, we're going to get all of our layering pieces together. I got my sauce here. And I got my tray. Noodles. Gonna put a layer of oil at the bottom so nothing sticks. I'm gonna put a layer of the sauce at the bottom. Boom. Then a layer of our pasta. Another layer of the sauce so it soaks into the noodles. On top of that, we're going to put our ricotta mixture. Mm, that looks good. I just actually had this tonight for dinner. It is the next week that I'm filming this recording, and it was delicious. Another layer of the bow tie noodles. Not too much. Another layer of the sauce. Ricotta. Boom. And then the last layer. Noodles and then regular sauce on top without any meat or vegetables in it. And then cheese on top. And you're gonna label it lasagna. Thaw first. Cook at 350. I want to make a correction here. I cooked it at 350 for an hour, not 30 minutes. Here we are moving on to the next recipe and I am starting on a sheet pan sausage. So this one is super easy. There is very little prep. You don't have to cook anything to prep. You just slice everything up and throw it in a Tupperware. So I sliced up some sweet potato and some bell peppers here. Put it all together and then I'm gonna add some onion and some corn and sausage. Put it all together. Add my corn. And then you mix, mix, mix. I'm gonna add some lemon pepper and some onion powder and then some paprika for a little kick. All good, ready to go. And that is it for my freezer meal recipe. I hope you guys have learned something. Um, I'm feeling good. It's 9 p.m. on October 9th and uh, contractions are like once or twice an hour, so I'm not very regular. So I will keep you guys posted. Uh, be sure to follow me on Instagram for any new updates. Here's Harley, if you guys are interested in seeing him. He needed some time out of his cage. Thanks for watching, guys. Remember to subscribe below and comment if you guys have any freezer meals that you'd like to recommend. And I'd love to share it with everybody else. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.